Hello everyone. Welcome to the world of Unified Communication. Unify is world's leading software and services communication company, offering integrated communication solutions to our customer. We are part of Atos family. Our solutions are ranging from unified communications to contact center to small and medium businesses, and we are also complementing with industry-based solutions. SME sector in Middle East is showing a very healthy growth. So as a Unify, we have a solution called OpenScape Business and this is the best fit for small medium enterprise. It's a single unified communication and collaboration solution for voice, presence, mobility, messaging and contact center. Today we are showing a video on implementation of OpenScape Business and we emphasize here that how easy configurable and managed this product is and it does not take more than 10 minutes to implement this solution with basic technical knowledge. So please enjoy this video and come back to us if you have any feedback. Hello ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. My name is Mohammed Farag, I'm the technical consultant for Unify Middle East. Uh, today I'm gonna take you in a, a tour video for a step-by-step -step deployment for Unify OpenScape Business Solution. So what we have here to start OpenScape Business uh, deployment, uh, we have a network switch along with the necessary uh, network cables and power cables and as you can see here we have two different appliances for open escape uh, uh, business uh, the x5 uh, appliance uh, which has a higher capacity in terms of the number of slots that can be added into the appliance and we have open escape x3 which have the same controller board and less number of uh, slots to install uh, uh, cards and we have a laptop connected to the same network switch and this laptop will be used for configuring the appliances uh, uh, and doing all the necessary parameters. Also, we have two Unify phones. Uh, we actually chose uh, those two models, but can be any other phones as well, any other models that are compatible with OpenScape uh, business family. So what we have here is OpenScape Business X appliance and OpenScape Business appliance, as you can see, it comes with an SD card for hosting the operating system and the platform of the server. And also it comes with additional, uh, I would say, um, interfaces for covering the empty slots. And also it comes with the uh, main controller and the main controller, as you can see here, there is a network port for connecting the administration laptop there is a LAN port for connecting the phones there is a, a, a WAN port for connecting to the WAN the first step that you need to do before you connect the power or before you connect uh, the administration laptop is to plug in the SD card that came with the appliance so now let's connect the uh, appliance and uh, let's see how it works and now I'm going to connect the network into the LAN port. Then I'm going to connect the other network cable into the management PC. Then I'm going to connect power cable to the appliance. And as you can see, the appliance started automatically upon connecting the power cable. So now I need to open my laptop and start configuring the appliance. So now what we need to do, we need to set an IP for the management laptop to be within the same uh, network range as uh, OpenScape business appliance. By default, when you open uh, OpenScape business appliance out of the box, it will come with a default IP of 192.168.1.2 and with a username uh, of an administrator and a password of an administrator. So let's see how will we configure the management laptop. So grab a chair and go to network settings, right click, open the network and sharing center, choose change adapter settings and choose the LAN configuration connection and click on Internet Protocol version 4 press on properties and make sure that 
you have an IP here within the range of 192.168.1.x and the subnet mask, the default one is OK, 250. Uh, 255.255.255.0 .255 then you press OK and close now it's time to verify the connectivity between the administration laptop and OpenScape business appliance so we'll open uh, start menu choose run then type cmd which is the command line interface then you ping use a ping command minus t and put the default IP address of OpenScape Business X. As you can see, the server is replying and the response looks healthy. So what do I need now? Now I have verified the connectivity and it's working fine. Now I need to open the management interface. So I will open my web browser and type HTTPS front slash front slash 192 168.1.2 which is the default IP and press enter as you can see because this is the first time you connect to the server and there is an unknown certificate so you need to press advanced this kind of steps might be a little bit different from uh, a web browser to a web browser but the concept is still the same so you press proceed to an unsafe website and it will automatically take you to the uh, 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 authentication page of OpenScape Business X. You put the uh, username, the default username, as you can see it's administrator at system. Then the password is also administrator, as you can see you type it. Then you press login and for the first time it will ask you to change the default password. So you need to put the default password again and set the new password with something complex. Put it twice for a confirmation and press login. And as you can see, after you change the password successfully, the system will automatically take you for the uh, deployment wizard and it, the system will ask you to set everything uh, or all the parameters according to the country where you live. Like the first question will be set the date and time and choose the time zone and press OK and the system will log you out. After the system logs you out, you need to log in back with the default username and the new password that you just chosen. Press login and it will take you to the system homepage. All what you need to do is just go to the initial installation wizard. So now press OK and next. Press next. Verify the DHCP address pool. Then you choose the uh, language of the uh, tracing logs. By default, this is not required. Then you press next. And here you choose which package of the unified communication application do you like to enable. Now you have successfully completed the first installation with it and your server or your system is ready to uh, register phones and uh, configure phones and make phone calls. Now it's time to configure the IP phones that's connected to our network. And uh, to do so, I need to do it in two steps. The first step is to go and configure the telephone and subscribers. And I can choose uh, the IP phone here because I'm configuring IP phones. So I will go and by default, you will find that uh, there is a lot of default extensions already configured on the appliance where I will need to uh, just enable the port, choose the right type of a phone and here we have Unify phone which we treat it as a system client. I can also choose it as a SIP phone if I'm using a SIP firmware on a Unify phone. So I'm going to choose the system client and I'm going to add a name, so for example Adam. Then I'm going to press next, next, finish and all what's remaining now to make this extension active is just go to the license management and assign a license for this IP users. As you can see, I'm going to assign a license and each license gives the user a specific feature. 
So I'm gonna give him all the available features and press OK and next. So here is Unify phone connected with a power adapter and all what I need to do is to connect the network cable okay, and reset the phone to factory defaults by going to the admin menu, putting the default password, then going to the maintenance menu and choose reset to factory defaults putting the password and the phone will take one or two minutes to reset itself to the factory defaults as you can see the phones uh, are configured and we have also configured the appliance and now it's time to do a test call and uh, from one of the phones, I'm gonna dial the other phone, extension number 113. And as you can see, the phone is ringing and the caller ID feature is showing. With a successful test call, like how you see, we ending our uh, demonstration video for the deployment uh, steps. Uh, I hope uh, you had a great experience watching us. Thank you for watching. Feel free to visit our website, unify.com, for more videos and more details. Thank you.